Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I have something I didn't even know existed, but I want to share it with you. It's Microsoft Teams and ServiceNow. Yes, I've done a couple of these so far. This one is showing Employee Center within Microsoft Teams. It was there all along. I set it up and configured it. My colleagues set it up and configured it as well. And I didn't even know about it until I was looking through some documentation. So in my other videos, I've shown starting conversations from within Teams with an agent, a bot, and then escalating to a live agent. I've showed starting a conversation from ServiceNow into Teams and having that come back in and be loaded in the work notes. I've showed importing conversations from Microsoft Teams. And all of those centered around this chat ability within Microsoft Teams, right? So I'd be either having a channel like you can see here with me and Abraham Lincoln talking back and forth about his internet not working, or I've got the bot where I can have a conversation. I can use it like a virtual agent and use the existing virtual agent conversations or escalate to a live agent. What I missed and didn't see, there I go again, clicking that button. What I didn't see for that chat bot is uh, this one right here, your hub. And what this does is it loads up the employee center within Microsoft Teams. So you don't have to leave Microsoft Teams to chat with an agent, to submit a request with a virtual agent, to chat about a ticket with an agent that's already, that a ticket already exists, or to go to the ServiceNow service portal and make a request from the catalog, get access to different knowledge base articles, watch a video or see the HR campaign, access your Azure AD applications using this widget that's available with Employee Center Pro. All of this without leaving Microsoft Teams. Now, yes, I'm in the web browser version, not the desktop version, but this could happen in the web browser version or the desktop version and it works just the same. So it actually already authenticated me so I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have a second login. Now you can see me browsing to different parts of the Employee Service Center. I'm looking at some email catalog knowledge articles for IT. Um, if I wanted to come back and say, hey, I need something from HR, I have a question about uh, something in HR, so I'm gonna browse and see what all the topics are. If I have a question about procurement, I can hop over to the corporate credit cards uh, topic within uh, Employee Service Center. If I have something from legal, from the community, if I wanna look at my requests, all from within Microsoft Teams. This is huge, this is incredible, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.